Welcome to my Flash CS5 tutorial number one. It's titled Basic Drawing Using Layers. Open your Flash CS5 program. Click on this new Create New Action Script 3 and your stage and your layout and work area may be different than mine so what I suggest you do is click on window come down here to workspace and click the classic okay and then go up here you'll see classic click that and reset classic and then yours should look very similar to mine I'm going to these, click these double arrows here to close this panel up to give me some more room over here. And I'm going over this side where all my tools are. And I'm going to put it till I get the double arrows, click, and drag it. Because there's tools down here that I was missing. Can you see that? And that's just because of my size of my screen. We're going to start by making a little spaceship so come up here where it says layer one this is a layer on the timeline this is the time called a timeline double click on this layer one and it's gets highlighted and put in here saucer the spelling here has no relevance this is not part of any programs this is just the name of this layer click on this spot here this is called frame one right here frame one and if you look down there there says frame one over here in this tools panel the straight line see this I want you to select that I want you to come down to this top block yours probably a different color than mine click on it and pick up some bright color whichever you want, and want. I'm going to pick this reddish color and move your cursor because we're not going to do any too much up here move your cursor so you have those double arrows and lift that up give us a bit more space right now on our stage this is called a stage let's move it down to about a 50 percent so you can sort of see it right now we have this tool selected and just draw a straight line like that and I just did that to get size that it would be on my stage so now we can go up to 200 percent and we can work on this for a little bit if I go up here and grab this first arrow it's called the selection tool click on it and move it down until I see that that radius circles that circle click and if I drag it down I can bend that click on it while you're still on it and you've got those cross hairs right click copy click over here somewhere right click paste in place and there's one on top of it just tab that down a little bit I am using the arrow keys not the tab key just a little bit right click paste in place tab this one down now they, they can be equal distance that's up to you this is going to be the sides of our flying flying saucer so that's what I'm going with for now and up here you see this padlock if I click it I can lock this layer I can click here I want to lock this layer that means I cannot write on it by accident I need another layer so here's the envelope this little picture here click on it and there's a new layer and this is just a temporary layer for now so I'm just going to call it temp just something we're going to use every once in a while and as long as there's no lock in this layer I can write on it select this first frame again click on it go back and pick your tool up again and we're going to start right here and you don't have to be too exact and draw an angle there you go, just like that. 
go back to that same spot and draw another angle. They don't have to be symmetrical. That's up to you. Okay. Go back and pick this selection tool up here. Click on it. Now when I'm going to select them all, all of it. But notice I don't select anything from the saucer layer because it's locked. Go back. Get your crosshairs on it. Right click copy. Right click paste in place. There's the second one. Now go up here, way up here to this modify. Click it. Come down where it says transform. Come over and flip horizontally. So I flipped it. Now tab it to the right. Tab it till it becomes in the same spot over here and where these will line up on the line. And I think that's about there. All right. Now, I want to select both of those. So again, I'm going to highlight the whole thing. I pick them both up. Get your cursor on either one, but as long as you have those crosshairs, right click, copy. Lock this temp layer. Open your saucer layer. Unlock it. Click frame one. Now, see this eyeball down below it on the temp layer. Click that and it disappears. That's hiding what's on this temp layer. But we just copied that information. So come down back to your stage. Just click on the stage and do a right click, paste in place, and there's those two parts that we just lost, that we just got from the temp file. All right. Now, if you can click here and just that in highlights, you can press the delete button. That'll go. If you click here and just that highlights, delete it. If you click here and just that highlights, you can delete it. And if you click here, you can delete it. Let's just say when you were deleting these ends, you had a situation where when you clicked it, it went in further than what you what you wanted to delete. Because if I delete that, I'd lose it. Control Z, put it back. So what you can do is, if you click right on this corner and move it, and when it touches, you see that circle? That means it snapped in place. Now I can click this and delete it. If that doesn't work and you can't snap it in place, you're going to have to pick up your eraser tool and erase it. So now we have the basic part of our spaceship. Come over here and you see this little paint bucket. Click on that and we're going to pick up a color to put inside of those my spaceship. I'm going to make some part of it a bluish color. So now I selected the blue, come up here, you see this paint bucket, click on it, and I colored that part blue. I want to color the small the bo the bottom part a lighter blue. So I'm gonna click on it. See I got the eyedropper, come over to the wheel, click on the wheel, and go up here and go up and select the lighter blue. There's the blue I want. Okay. So now when I pick this paint bucket up. I'm picking this lighter shade up here, dump that in, and I'm happy with those colors. Go back and pick up my selection tool. Lock this layer. I'm going to hide it or turn it off. I'm going to turn this temp layer back on, unlock it, select these, and delete them. I don't need them anymore. There's my spaceship. This Back to this temp layer, frame one. I now want to put a dome on my spaceship. So we have a tool for that. It's called the oval tool. If I if you don't have an oval, click on it and you can you, you may have a rectangle, but pick what you want. So we want the oval tool. And hold the shift button down, it makes a circle, and come here somewhere and draw a circle. And I think that's going to be a good size for me. Now, I don't want the inside to be this color, so I'm going to pick my selection tool up. Click on it. See how it got all those little fuzzies? Come over here 
and I want a really super light bluish color so I'm going to select this blue I'm going to go back here over to this color pad and take this all the way up till I got the lightest there to there okay and that's the color that I'm going to leave on my spaceship and I'm going to see this outside ring click on it and click here and I'm going to make that just blue oops let's do that again click on it and make it blue there all right looks kind of silly right now so let's I want to be able to make this smaller so come up to your two layers click on the saucer layer hold your button down and push it up and see how I put it behind that's the power of the layers the lowest layer is the furthest back I'm going to select that temp layer which has my circle on it you see how it's highlighted but I'm going to make sure of it and now I can slowly tab this up I am using the arrow keys not the tab key till I got it where I want it and tab it right or left and there's where I think I want it now I don't need this bottom part so I pick my selection tool up put it in here somewhere and delete that lower half of that circle I'm going to turn this off. That's my temp layer. I'm now going to relabel this temp as dome so that if I use this in some kind of animation later on, I can have the dome move separately from the ship. So this temp, temp now, I double clicked on it. I'm going to call it dome, D-O-M-E. So I have two different, different things. Lock it so it doesn't get moved or so I don't write something on this layer insert another layer so with the dome layer selected click here there's new layer call this the alien a l i e n he's a little alien so we're going to draw a little guy in here if you check this up here if I click this that locks all the layers and then I can unlock the one I want when you got 20 layers you don't want to be doing them all at once just click all of them off and open unlock the one you want to use select frame one we're going to draw a little alien inside of this box inside of this dome so come over here and we'll make this a little bigger just there we go that's a good size all right aliens are green used well we think they are click here pick up a green up a green cow. if you look here you'll see what you're getting and I don't know why I'm getting something that's not what I'm I'm on for some reason something wrong with this program so I'd be very careful I want that green and here I want a different green see I'm getting those colors I don't know why that is so it's like I'm off a little bit doesn't matter I'm going with these two these two colors from my alien and I'm going to start with his eyes so double click on my alien and call it alien eyes because I may want them to move separately from his head I'm going to use the oval tool again click on it hold my shift down and make a little eyeball there's one and I'm going to make a second one there's two they're not the same size this one's going to be behind this one also for the eyes I want the eyes to have some kind of connection to the body so I picked up this straight line tool and there's one line down to the body and there is the other I don't like the location of that one so control Z control Z will remove that and I want to be closer to to this one there I'm kind of happy with that 
Go up here, lock this layer, his eyes, insert another layer, and call it Alien Hid. As I said before, the spelling here is not important at all. I'm going to use the same colors, and right here I'm going to make a hit. I'm going to use my oval tool, but this time I'm going to make it closer to looking like an oval than looking like a circle. Oops. Select my oval tool, and I'm going to make that like an oval. There it is. Now, just as we bent these lines before, we can go up here, grab this selection tool, and let's bend these a little bit and give them come some kind of shape. There we go. See how that I got that circle? As long as I got that circle, I can move things. Otherwise, I'll tear it apart. And here I'm going to just make this longer down into here. Because the saucer is on top, because the saucer is on top, he is behind the saucer. But because he's on top of the dome, his little eyeballs stick through the dome. Now you could be really fussy and take this one eye out and put it behind. We might do that. He's got eyes. I think he should have a mouth. And the easiest mouth is a line. it is. Grab your selection tool. If you get that little right angle when you touch it, that means you're grabbing it right on the end. Move it up, pull it down, and I think I want to move his eyeballs down a little bit. So I'm going to lock his head, unlock his eyes, Sele selection tool, select them, Tap everything down, and I think I'm going to lock all the layers, turn off all the layers except his eyes, unlock the layer, double click on this, hold the shift down, click on that center. So did you see what I did there? I double clicked on this to get all the stroke, hold my shift down, click the center. I have all that now. That's all selected. And I can take that, hold my finger, get that crosshairs, right click, and cut that. Take it right out of the picture. Lock this layer, unlock, bring all the layers back so I can see them. And I want this layer to be in front of his head. So I'm going to select the alien head insert a layer and call it alien back eye it would be better to label this the front eye not the back eye and it's unlocked all the other layers are locked just unlock that one frame one paste in place and just adjust it a little bit now if we find that it's a bit too long, I think it is, let's go and grab the selection tool. And let's take a little bit off it just by selecting like that, deleting it. Select it all again. Bring it back. There. The last thing I think I want to do is put a little bend in that. So if I go up until I got that circle, there's a little bend there. Lock that layer, unlock the other eye layers. Select frame one. We don't want that fuzziness. Click off to the right. Go to we got that circle, half circle there, and then bam. There's our alien and our spaceship. I hope you learned something from this tutorial, and I hope you use what you learn.